morning. Good morning. Mm. No, he didn't wake me up. Oh, do you think I'd done a flit in the night? <laughs> now, why would you want to do that? I don't know. Maybe I need reminding. Mm. Mm. Noah, don't be opening that before school. How long will that one last? He won't want it the second it's out of the pack. Can I watch telly? Oh, you see, you really you've been banging on about that for months. Go on. I hope getting what you want isn't always a disappointment. Only sometimes. Hmm? Yeah, occasionally. It can be a nice surprise. Good morning, Nickel. There's a cake or something trodden up the stairs. Is there? Well, I shall go and nick it off then. Appointment letter. Oh, um, check. Oh, uh, change for the car park. Check. Uh. <laughs> Our baby's about to go for a fetal heart scan. Yeah, and there's a good chance that everything will be all right. Yeah, and there's a good chance that it might not be. That it might have defects. Well, f forearmed is... <coughs> is forewarned. I know. I am trying to be serene. You're doing really well. I think I just need to get there. Um, where's my antenatal file? No, I've got it. Marlon! What? You're doing it again! Oh, my God! I am. Oh, Rona, I'm so sorry. Baby! How was your dad last night? Uh, well, I waited up, but he didn't come back. And I've not seen him this morning, either. Well, he's probably off calling down somewhere. Yeah, or planning his next move. Try not to read too much into it. It was just a kiss. Oh, what, you think it stopped there? They went back and broke out the cocoa? I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's not me I'm worried about. I'll see you in a bit. Mm. All right. Yep. So, how are you getting on with it? Well, I think I know what she can do. Oh, it's a Sheeno, is it? You'll be naming her next. Oh, if I ever do that, just shoot me. <laughs> well, you're looking pretty smooth. Day off, innit? You got any plans? I might have. Let me guess, you're seeing Flynn. No. Actually, I was going to say, me and you should go out. Put her through paces. It gets me from A to B. I mean, what else is there? I'll tell you what, then. I'll time you. Let's see how long it takes you to get from here to my place. Just give it a rest, will you? Not until you come with me. And if you don't like it, then you can always drive home. I'm a, I'm a bit tired, actually. It's, uh, it's harder work than it looks. Well, why don't you just say that? Because now you're going to start fussing. Look, I just need some time on myself to chill here. You got the day off, haven't you? Yeah. And what are you still doing here? Come on, girls, stop mocking about. I mean, stop mocking about, Ralph. Always oh, take your time. Right, Mozza, you and Adam can carry on here. Me and Andy better go check on the views. I can't. Not today. I've got to go up to home farm. You what? Declan, he um, asked me to fix a war for him. And we've got you and need lamb in here. Come on, son, it's not the best time to be ducking out on us, is it? Yeah, I know that, but I've already promised him and I can't let him down. Oh, but it's okay to let your dad down. It's all right, me and Andy can manage. Maybe getting paid for this. Why are you doing it for love? Well, shut up, will you? Can't have the quad, though, because we need it here. All right. Well, thanks, Dad. I'll be back as soon as I can, yeah? Well, go on, then, if you're going. You've got a visitor. Hiya. Oh, I'll, I'll pop back later. No, you're all right, Bob. I was just going. Finally. Go on, then. How's it going? Yeah, all right. Bob just wanted to have a quick word about the calf. 
Yeah, I've been, uh, well, I've been dragging my feet a bit over the rebuild, but the insurance money's come in now, so hopefully I should be able to get things up and running. Uh, basically, it's just an empty shell, so if I can pick your brains... Sorry, can't help you. Jackson? How come everyone needs my advice all of a sudden? First it was charity with the barn and now it's the calf. I can see what you're doing. We are talking bricks and mortar here, not quantum physics. You need someone that can get up and do the job. Bob knows that. But what are you doing here, then? My legs don't work and I can't pick up a pencil. What I was going to ask you was if you could recommend someone. You know, with my luck, I'll end up with a cowboy. You can do that, can't you? Or is your brain not working as well? Yeah, right, I'll have a think. No, Ross, you know, just, uh, just let me know. Thank you. Thanks, see ya. Cheers, Bob. What was all that about? Just leave it. No, I won't leave it. It's no excuse to be rude. Bob's been good to us. I thought you might want to do him a favour. All right, I'm sorry. It's not all about you, you know. OK, you may not be able to run up a ladder, but there's, there's plenty of other ways you can make yourself useful. That's what the chair's all about, giving you back your independence. Yeah, and how can I forget about that when you are always banging on about it? This is about Aaron, isn't it? If you can't cope with him coming around... Don't be daft. Then tell him! There's nothing to do with Aaron! Then stop taking it out on the rest of us! You pushed him away. He didn't want to go. Mum, will you just stop, please, and get out of my face? And now you're feeling all sorry for yourself. Well, let me tell you, it's not a pretty sight and it's not going to change anything. Please! Please, will you just leave? You did this. And whether you like it or not, you're going to have to live with it. And now I am leaving. <laughs>